All right. Welcome, Tech Heart Rockstars. I have been backing up my old Commodore 64 and 128 discs. And uh, I wanted to share with everybody the software and hardware that I'm using to do so. This video is going to come with a couple caveats. As you can see, I'm using my, my 128. Uh, last night I ran it on my 64 and everything was fine, but I wanted to use the 128 tonight. So, if you're following along at home, all of the commands that I'll type in will work on either uh, hardware, the 64 or the 128, but I'm going to be using the 128 versions of two softwares that we're going to use. You'll see as we dive in, but first let me show you the hardware that I'm going to use. Uh, first and foremost, I guess this is hardware. I have original floppy disks that I want to convert to uh, D64 disk images. Why would I want to do that? The next piece of hardware that I'm using tonight is the um, SD to IEC uh, board. And that lets you put many .D64s on one device and uh, load it on your Commodore 64 as you may. Another piece of hardware that you'll need is a 1541 drive or whatever drive you use uh, for your Commodore 64, whether it's a 1571 or a 1541 or whatever your particular media is on. As stated, I'm using the Commodore 128. I didn't uh, put one of my, my legacy monitors, I'm just using this LCD panel as I wanted it to be small. Um, some software that I'll be using tonight, and these links will be in the uh, description. I'm using, um, gosh, it's called the file browser, but I think it's called the CPM file browser. And then a disk copy software called Draw Copy. Let me move the camera up, and we will get us hopefully zoomed in here. Okay. A little bit more up for you guys. Now, first things first. Right now, I do not have my 1541 drive turned on. That being said, the SD to IEC is going to be on drive number 8. And we want to change that. So we'll type in open 15, comma, 8, comma, 15. And then we'll do another comma, and we'll quote U0 uh, bracket, quote, plus CHR cache parentheses 9. After that, we're going to put a colon and close 15. So what this command is telling uh, the Commodore is to open 15 at device number 8 and issue a new command that the Commodore knows to switch 8 to 9. And then we're closing 15. Let me push return. Now, our SD to IEC should be able to load. I'm going to do cache so I can show you guys. But now I'm going to type in slot 9 because we changed it. So let's list that. Okay. Now this is the first software that I'm going to use tonight. It's that file browser that I told you about. If you're on a 64, you'll load FB64. But for me, I'm going to load FB128 and on device number 9. Now we'll run that. And we are into our file browser. I have all my stuff in this copy directory. So I'm going to go down to copy. And now you'll see uh, some more stuff we're going to use tonight. Like I told you, draw copy is the disk copying software. The other files you see right there, uh, 001 empty, 002 empty, etc., are empty D64 files. You can create them or download one, and I'll put a link in the description. Um, so, first, let's go into the draw copy directory, open up DC10D, and now, as I said, you might be using DC64. 
but I'm going to use DC 128. And here we have draw copy. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Um, I might even have to go down, I guess. Draw copy is a little fidgety. On the uh, right-hand side over there, it says F1 for directory, F2 for device, F3 for hex, F4 for ASCII, F5 for copy, F6 for delete, F7 run, F8 disk copy, space to tag, back to switch, etc., etc. And also that back is the one on the left, or if you're using the 64, you'll, you'll have to figure it out. Uh, so now, at any rate, I'm now going to turn on the 1541 drive. Oopsies. Let's not knock the TV over. Okay. And I'm going to load in my, this one's Commodore VIC 1541 test demo. Original biscuit. So I'm going to plop that in the 1541 drive. And I guess now I can kind of show you how. We can push the delete button to go to the top window, which is just the drive. And it loads that disk that we just put in the 1541 drive. Um, you can push this backspace again to jump around. So down here, now we're on, oops, device number nine. I pushed the, the left arrow so it did something else. But now we're on device number nine. If I push the backspace button, it takes me out of that draw copy uh, direct, or actually the draw copy D64 into the draw copy directory, and I'm going to backspace again. And now on device number nine, let me zoom in again now for you. And now on device number nine, I'm going to pick for me 003 empty. That's the file I'm currently working on, so I'll push return. That opens my 003 empty.d64, yours might be different. Now I'll click that left arrow to jump back up to the top, do you see there? And all that is, is that disk in device eight in the 1541 drive. Uh, now we should be able to just press F8, which is you know the Commodore button and F7. So I'm gonna push F8 now and always read. It says copy disk from device eight, which we know is now our 1541 drive to device nine, which we know is our SD to IEC that we switched earlier. So I'm gonna say yes on this, and then I'm gonna explain the screen a tiny bit to you. But after that, we're gonna to get to some SID music and I'll be back with you after the copy finishes. So I'm gonna push the Y button. Um, draw copy will show you the track and the sector in the upper right corner. This will take a while, so you enjoy those chippies. Bada boo.
press a key. Let me zoom out a little bit for you. Uh, now we can press a key. So I'll push the uh, Q button. And what do we see? Well, we see on the top is still our 1541 device. The bottom looks empty, but um, let's uh, reread that or, or whatever. I know I can back out and, oops, that was the top one. I had to switch first. So to switch, I'll push the back button. Now we're down here. So I'm gonna push the delete button to exit out of that. And now I'll go into that 003 D64. And look at that. We've copied the disc over. Um, so bada bing, bada boom. The disc should be copied, right? I'll meet you in a minute on my modern computer. All right. All right, so here we are on my modern computer on a vice emulator. So I'm gonna just click file. Um, I'm gonna attach a disc to drive eight. I don't know how well you can see that, but I'm gonna go into my C64 directory, into my physical disk backups, and I've copied that file that we just had to 003 Commodore VIC 1541 test demo, which is what it was. So let's open that D64 that we just created. And now we should be able to load. Um, I'll do a cache so we can list it. Eight. And this is an emulator, so it'll be on eight. No Jiffy DOS here, so hang on. And let's list. And look at that. There's that disk that we just copied. So at any rate, guys, I hope that was fun for some. And fun for all.